Hey guys, look fuck here and welcome to another FIFA 19 footies pro review and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the 93 rated footies winner SBC Kyle Walker. His card looks insane. He was able to beat both Milanovic, Savic and Manolas uh, and being able to get this footies winner item. I personally went for the newly transferred Manolas uh, who's obviously just joined Napoli but uh, even so Kyle Walker still be given an insane card and he did cost me in the region of 120,000 coins to complete his SBC and in the four games that I played with he scored me one goal and got me three assists, which is a fantastic return for a fullback. Uh, he also does have a two star weak foot as well as two star skill moves. Then, moving along to his in game stats, his main standard stats will be his 99 stamina, his 96 uh, shot power, his 93 interceptions, and finally his 89 marking. And I did also have the backbone chemistry star applied to this footies winner, Kyle Walker. Now, interestingly, he is coming in at around 250,000 coins from scratch to complete his SBC according to Fortbin, which um, at this stage of FIFA is a a lot, you know. You know, there was the um, the flashback SBC Danny Alves we had a few days ago. That was what like fifty thousand coins, and some people were able to get him for absolutely free. Yes, Danny Alves doesn't play in anywhere near as a good a league as what Kyle Walker does, but at the same time, nation wise, the Brazilian nation is a lot more appealing, in my opinion, to the England nation. But um, obviously, Kyle Walker on the whole does have probably a considerably better car, but even so, I didn't think he cost as much as 250k. I thought he would have been a little bit less than that. Um, a quarter of a million coins, obviously, there might be some people who can do him less than that, and obviously, I was able to just get him for over 100k, but it's a lot at this stage of FIFA to pay for just a fullback, um, which is probably one of the most, you know, irrelevant positions on the pitch, but anyway, even so, overall in-game, I will be quite honest, he's a very good card. At the same time, there's a lot of other really good fullbacks in the Premier League, for example, Team of the Season, wan uh, Team of the Season, Alexander Arnold. I can't remember if there's any other ones there might be like a flashback card as well I can't exactly remember but uh, overall in game I think he is probably still one of the best fullbacks in the Premier League before he did play very well his 84 rated gold card was used by so many of the pros for so long and is still probably one of the most expensive 84 rated cards today on the market but um, yeah this 93 rated card is very very solid for the most part you know his first pro for me will be his pace 99 stamina 93 acceleration 99 sprint speed he is really really quick he doesn't let anyone outpace him whatsoever and even on the attack as well he can outpace a lot of players as well which is fantastic um just really really rock solid in that area and like in, in you know in his pace just in saying and how many players he can outpace i don't know if he'd if he'd be able to outpace an alessandrini don't get me wrong his pace felt fantastic it didn't feel quite as good as alessandrini who reviewed earlier on today i think that's because alessandrini's got the 99 agility and the 99 bounce which kind of makes weirdly a bit of a, a bit of a difference but uh in like straight line pace walker is very very quick and uh, he, he was never um outpaced whatsoever but uh, it's like Second pro as well will be his tackling. Again, very solid tackling stats with the backbone chem style. His marking stand tackle as well as his slide tackle are all maxed out at 99. His uh, heading accuracy goes into the high 80s. And then his interceptions as well are increased to 98. So his defending stats just become absolutely incredible with that backbone chem style. Both his slide tackle and uh, stand tackle in game were also very good as well as his interceptions. Just again, very, very solid for a fullback. Uh, made quite a few tackles for me in pretty much every single game I played him with. Also his heading accuracy, never really got to use that from like attacking players or anything like that. But from one defensive piece, he did um, get a header off the line for me, which was pretty awesome. Because I think I was only winning by maybe one goal at that point or something. You'll see it in the clips. Uh, I think it's towards maybe the end of the clips that... Uh, he gets a header off the line, but um, yeah, overall tackling stats very, very solid. And then his final pro will also be his passing. Um, for the most part, very good passing. 89 short passing, um, 92 crossing. With again with that backbone cam style, his crossing and short passing both go to 99. His long passing goes into the low 80s, as does his vision. And to be quite honest, I was actually really, really happy with his long passing. Um, despite it only going to 81, some of his long passing were really, really good. To be fair, there was one insane like 40, 50 yard pass maybe that. He makes to like Robert Perez or something, which is that he just pinged it right up the field. Um, but yeah, also his crossing was very good, and also three assists from four games is a fantastic return. And uh, even his curve as well, going up into the 90s there as well, which is pretty decent. So his dribbling felt pretty decent, uh, it's not the best, you know. Um, 75 agility and 81 balance. I think there are quite a few players that have got much better agility and balance, even in a fullback role, have a lot better than that. Uh, for example, I think Arnold's team of the season card is quite a lot better in agility and balance, and whilst they're not the most crucial stats to a fullback. They still kind of matter a little bit. So his dribbling wasn't the most insane. It's not terrible at the same time, but, um, you know, it's not 
fantastic. He doesn't feel sluggish on the ball, but he's not like the most smoothest player I've used. He's not the most agile player that I've used. And it kind of does matter a little bit for a fullback, but it's not like the end of the world if their agility and balance isn't the best. You know, it's still decent. It's just not the best that I've ever used. But uh, overall, no real cons to him. You know, at the end of the day, he got me four goals. Well, four goal contributions in four games, which is fantastic. But also from defensive set pieces and defensive plays, he was still, once again, a very rock-solid defender. I personally would not play him over Arnold because... The Arnold card is a red version. I've got a team this season card, and, you know, I much prefer Trent Alexander-Arnold than Kyle Walker, IRL. Um, but overall, I think in the Premier League, you know, 250k, and obviously I'm sure you're going to be able to do it for, all, you know, some of you can do it for cheaper than that as well. He is a good solid defender from the Premier League. I think he would be an upgrade on Juan Bissaka, but I think if you've already got Arnold in your team, there's no need to get this Kyle Walker. So I'd probably say he's probably maybe the second best Premier League fullback that you can get right now. But uh, anyway, guys, that is going to finish up the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.